Hello, it's Mike Les, and I am out in the field with a brand new Versatile Delta Track 550 tractor sold by Anderson Enterprises out of Anawan, Illinois. I'm just a couple miles north of Interstate 80 in Illinois, and this Versatile Delta Track 550 is pulling a 14 bottom Salford moldboard plow. Although I have several other videos on my YouTube channel of the new colored Versatile tractors, this is the first one I have of a Versatile Delta Track in the new colors in the field working. The Versatile 550 Delta Track is powered by a 15 liter Cummins diesel engine with a horsepower rating of 550 with a peak horsepower rating of almost 600 horsepower. Behind the 15 liter engine is a CAT TA22 power shift transmission, which is a full power shift transmission with 16 forward and 4 reverse gears. I have not done a lot of moldboard plowing in my lifetime as we did not have a plow when I was a kid growing up. My dad said my grandpa ditched the moldboard plow idea back in probably the 60s and went to an offset disc and then a chisel plow in that type of tillage. When I met my wife, her dad still did some moldboard plowing and had a five bottom international plow, so that was the first time I ever pulled a plow in my life. So getting to run this one behind the Delta Track and 14 bottoms was obviously pretty exciting. This was one of the, of all the farm equipment I've run in my lifetime, which has been uh, a lot of different tractors and such. This uh, was probably one of the top five. This particular plow here has a hydraulic uh, steering wheel on the back so you can do adjustable widths and what they were running right here what I stepped off was approximately 28 feet so he's plowing about 28 feet each pass here. He was plowing at maximum depth here which is about 10 inches deep. Uh, he was pulling this plow in this heavy black dirt at about 5 mile an hour. The tractor would pull it faster but in this heavy black dirt anything over 5 the bottoms were tripping and you'll see some of that throughout this video. Now he got into some lighter dirt and was able to pull this 7.5 mile an hour with no problem. Pullboard plowing has become a thing of the past in a lot of areas, but there's still several areas where they do a lot of it. Uh, Northern Illinois being one of them. Uh, a couple reasons guys do this uh, varies, but uh, corn on corn, if you're growing continuous corn, I know a lot of guys that do moldboard plowing for that. They think they get a better yield by burying the trash. Other is for weed control. A lot of these weeds have built up resistance to some of the sprays and stuff. So moldboard plowing and burying them seeds and whatnot uh, leads to better weed control. And of course also guys that are doing organic farming, eh, moldboard plowing works good, like I said, for the weed control. The farm also has a 10 bottom sulfur plow that they pull behind a cat challenger. However, I cannot get that in the same video, and they also have a 7 bottom sulfur plow behind another tractor. This farm here plows over 4,000 acres every fall. There's about 15 more minutes left in this video. Got several on the ground and aerial shots for you, so please enjoy.
South Delta Track 550. There's a lot of beef cattle in this area, and there was a couple grazing over here by the field we were in, so I thought I'd fly over and get an aerial shot of these cows and see what they thought. Cattle are always usually pretty curious, and uh, I've seen other people fly drones over cows and they take off running. These remain calm.
And that's going to wrap up the video of this Versatile Delta Track 550 tractor pulling this 14 bottom sulfur plow. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hopefully I can get back here next year and get some footage of all three tractors out in the field plowing together.